superstitions, black cats, and voodoo dolls. If you're very superstitious and the writing's on the wall, and even if you're not, and it isn't, then welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're counting down the five most fascinating things that you probably didn't know about superstition. You believe in things that you don't Number five, the most superstitious Americans are young female Christian Democrats. Hey, none of the latter. Surveys tell us that around one in four Americans can be described as superstitious. As much as 50% of women admit to being superstitious to at least some degree, and that's far more than men do. Christians consider themselves more superstitious than atheists, and Democrats are statistically more so than Republicans. Finally, the proportion of people admitting to superstition also declines with age. So, statistically, if you're a young, church-going female fan of Barack Obama, chances are you dodged the cracks in the sidewalk on your way to work today. And you probably picked up that penny, just for luck, right? I found a penny! Number four. With great power comes great superstition. We must consult the oracle. Trust the gods, Leonidas. Somewhat worryingly, some major historical figures were faithfully superstitious. Napoleon Bonaparte regularly consulted a clairvoyant for guidance, and placed massive importance on the content of his own dreams. Queen Elizabeth I also employed a magician, who she often met with to make important governmental decisions. In more modern times, sports stars have taken up the superstitious mantle. Basketball legend Michael Jordan reportedly wore the same college shorts under his actual kit throughout his career. Hockey legend Patrick Waugh preferred stepping and not skating over the red and blue lines. And golfing great Tiger Woods always wears a red shirt during a Sunday round. He'd hate to get a hole in one of those. Oh, it's so funny I forgot to laugh. Number 3. Italy spends a lot of money on astrology. Italy's an incredibly superstitious country, and when the credit crunch was at its crunchiest, circa 2010, the nation was shelling out over $7.5 billion on fortune tellers and astrologists. I guess they hoped that their trusted professional mystic could give them sound investment advice. To be fair to Italy though, there are lots of quirky superstitions all over the world. In South Korea, it's widely believed that falling asleep with a fan running will kill you. In Syria, yo-yos are a no-no because it's believed that they'll bring drought. Turkish superstitions forbid all sorts of things done at night. Don't clip your toenails, don't kill spiders, don't count stars, and if you chew gum after midnight, it will turn into rotten flesh. <laughs> Number two, black cats used to bring good luck. Maggie, your black cat is crossing my path. Oh, not good. One of the world's most widely known superstitions, however, is that black cats bring bad luck. But it hasn't always been the case. Their association with witchcraft in North America and Europe dates back to the Middle Ages. But for sailors and pirates, a black cat on board is usually considered an omen of good fortune. King Charles I of England also believed in black cats' power, as upon the death of his own, he lamented his loss of luck along with it, and he was then arrested for treason the very next day. In ancient Egypt also, where cats in general were idolized, the black cat was especially associated with the goddess Bastet, and Egyptians practically prayed that one would cross their path one day. Cleopatra's cat at me. Cleopatra's cat. Number one, Friday the 13th is bad for business. Well, he picked the right day to pull this shit. What do you mean? Happy Friday the 13th. Unlucky for some and viewed unfavorably by most, Friday the 13th occurs on average once every 212.35 days. But regardless of where you stand in terms of superstition, one thing is for certain. It's a supremely unlucky day for businesses. With around 19 million Americans affected by a fear of Friday the 13th, stats show that many choose to lock the doors and stay home whenever the date rolls by, meaning that much, much less money is made elsewhere. The totally legitimate looking Stress Management and Phobia Institute estimates the overall loss to be as high as $900 million on every offending Friday. How's business? Oh, a little pokey, but things are gonna pick up. <coughs> oh, I am so sorry. So, which superstitions do you abide by? Until next time, 
don't smash mirrors, do carry horseshoes, and don't blame us for your bad luck. That's just a silly superstition. For more magically inspired top 10s and astrologically admired top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. That curse is just a lot of silly superstition. Right, Lisa? See? Two means yes.